Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're excited to announce the release of Fedora Linux 42. This latest stable version from the Fedora project is packed with powerful new features and cutting edge technologies, all backed by Red Hat sponsorship. Fedora Linux 42 is powered by the robust Linux kernel 6.14 and comes with the brand new GNOME 48 desktop environment for the flagship Fedora Workstation Edition. One of the standout features in this release is the new Anaconda Web UI installer. This modern installer offers a guided partitioning system that allows you to easily set up your system with advanced automatic partitioning. It also introduces a reinstall Fedora option, making it simpler than ever to recover if anything goes wrong. Moreover, dual boot support is now fully integrated to enhance your installation experience. The Anaconda installer provides an installation progress indicator, build-in help, and a configuration review feature. It also includes a wizard function that lets you skip the parts that you don't need during installation. But that's not all. Fedora Linux 42 marks the promotion of the Fedora KDE Spin to full edition status, now known as Fedora Linux KDE Plasma Desktop Edition. It ships with the latest KDE Plasma 6.3 desktop environment. This edition is even supported on power systems, including the full KDE stack like KDE PIM and installable live images for open power systems, such as the Talos workstation from Raptor Systems. In addition to that, Fedora Linux 42 introduces a new spin featuring the Cosmic Desktop environment developed by System76 in Rust, this spin brings an exciting user interface experience inspired by the Ubuntu-based Pop OS. Under the hood, Fedora Linux 42 offers an impressive array of enhancements and updates. Key improvements include RPM support for systemedsysusers.d, which allows for configuration-based user and group creation. Composers is enabled by default for Fedora Atomic Desktops. The Fedora Workstation Edition now supports the SDL3 transition and includes Wayland by default for SDL apps. Support for Firewalled with IPv6 RP filter set to loose by default. Additional improvements include a switch from SquashFS to EROFS for Fedora Live Media, enhanced DNF5 package management, the latest Ruby version for a superior development platform, and optimized AMD64 binaries, GCC15, GNU Binutils 2.44, GNU C Library 2.41, GDB 15, LLVM 20, Golang 1.24, TCL Take 9.0, IBUS 1.5.32, Haskell GHC 9.8, Stackage 23, Django 285.x, Ansible 11, and PHP 8.4. The tool chain is thoroughly updated, ensuring top notch performance and the latest features across various development environments. If you're ready to experience all these exciting new features for yourself, you can download uh, Fedora Linux 42 right now from the official mirrors. Don't forget to check out the various editions and spins that best suit your needs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications for more updates about the latest in Linux and open source technology. Leave your comments below and let us know what you think about Fedora Linux 42. See you in the next video.